As part of efforts to alleviate the plight of persons living with a disability, management staff of the Petroleum Commission donated a set of educational materials and valuables to the World School for Persons with Hearing Disability. Speaking to TV Africa News on the sidelines of the presentation ceremony, Chief Executive Officer of the Petroleum Commission, Egbert Fable Jr., reiterated his outfit commitment to supporting the vulnerable, including persons living with a disability. He further hinted on plans to extend the kind gesture to other deprived schools in Ghana. It was a proposal I made to my management team that, you know, when we travel around and all, we see lots of disadvantaged children, children carrying decks and what have you to school. I recall that just in November, um, from our, our same management, so I asked my management staff that if we could set aside bits and pieces of our allowances into a fund, so that um, the management of the Petroleum Commission will have some kind of a fund from which we can help needy institutions. And thankfully my management agreed and I want to place on record my gratitude to my management team for, for accepting my proposition. So it is from that fund, the Petroleum Commission Management Charity Fund, that we've been able to do this for our brothers and sisters who are the WAR um, school that has been mentioned uh, for, for persons with uh, hearing uh, uh, disabilities. Prior to that, we've also uh, made donations of uh, 90 um, um, dual desks to um, two schools in the in the western region, specifically the Traco MA uh, school and also the half Fasini Catholic school. And there's more to come. We are also looking at the Jolu special school right behind us to end the year so that we can put a smile on the faces of you know our brothers and sisters who find themselves in certain you know challenging situations. Meanwhile, headmaster of the WA School for Persons with Hearing Disability, Sylvester Bayo, praised the management staff of, of the Petroleum Commission for the kind gesture. According to him, the items donated to his institution greatly enhanced students' academic life. Mr. Bayer further appealed to other corporate organizations to come to the aid of the institution. We are not enjoying water from water company. We have our own water system and we use uh, this submissible pump. And for years now, it has been running, but it's now showing signs of aging. And so we feel that if we don't get a substitute when it breaks down, we will run into difficulties. That is why we appeal to Petroleum Commission for support. And so the donation, submissible pump, the water tank, is just perfect for our system because if our system should break down today, we are just going to use minis to change and we will still have water. Um, for the photocopier, any time we are writing exams, we need to go outside to um, photocopy our exam questions. But with the copier this time, we will be fine. We just type from our typing pool and then straight away we run and our exams will take off. So it's of good help to us. Oh, we have a lot of teething problems and um, if they should come in to help us. For example, um, if we should get a KG block, it will help us because our classes are now choked. And with special education, we need to have smaller numbers in the class so that the teachers can handle them well. But when you have 30, 20, 25 children in the class, that is not good enough for us. And so if we get support, whether from government, from NGO, or from individual, to help us create another stream. Some of the items donated included photocopier machine, water closet, polytank, submersible pump, and other materials. 